Welcome to today's video. I'm starting it even before I'm ready to start it because we got the mail and Sophie wants to open something, but I wanted to show you guys first because we showed this in another vlog. What is it, Sophie? It's the hair curling thing. So Sophie saw this, it's like a viral TikTok thing that she's been wanting to have. She'll bring it closer so they can see. All the dogs are wondering if it's for them, but basically it's that um, thing that you stick in your hair and you wake up and it's curled. So Sophie's gonna try it tonight. If it works, I might try it too. I don't know if it'll give me a headache. But yeah, Sophie gets headaches. It comes with two scrunchies too. And a clip. Anyway, good morning. We have a really busy day today, so I am going to go and get ready for the day, and we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Stick around, because it's gonna be a good one. I got to choose the color, so I chose pink. That's my child. It goes like this, and you wrap your hair around it. So, something that Gabby got for Christmas arrived today. No. It's been here since Christmas. I know, but did Dad order it for Christmas? It's. I got it on Christmas. Oh, she got it on Christmas, and she's just putting it in her car today. Oh, it's cool. You put this little thing in there. It is an air freshener, and it's... Who is it? Naruto. 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 It's uh, anime. That's super cool. Put them over. So her gift that we bought her for her birthday, her big gift, which is new seat covers, leather seat covers for her car, supposed to come between today and Friday. Wow. So hopefully it comes today. What I feel I bad again? that she didn't get it on her actual birthday. But today is the day that we're going to try and bring Sophie's horse to our home and I don't know how it's gonna go but I'll have something to tell you. What do you need to get? A uh, leather halter. Leather halter. What is the color that you're gonna use for this horse? Red and dark green. Red and dark green. <sighs> bringing in a new horse, bringing a horse home to our farm is so stressful, so scary, so stressful, so stressful. Some horses will just fit in and adjust and not be like stressed out. This horse that Sophie's bringing home it's not that kind of horse. It's the kind of horse that will be like, I will fight you out because I'm the boss. And so it just makes me really nervous. But what I wanted to say is that even though we've had all of this training, one thing I've really learned is to become confident in myself and to learn what way works best for me. And it doesn't always work for everyone, but I've learned to like foster that and, and to believe in that and it's really been helping me in many different ways. Honestly, I've just learned to believe in myself and I've learned to trust my instincts and do what's right for the horse regardless of how other people do it. And that's a big statement to make. All right, so. Ollie Prince. Yeah, Ollie Prince. So we have to move the horse trailer and it's muddy. So God only knows. Don't leave that in there. <laughs> Um, That's my pitchfork. I use it every yeah, day. Yeah, I hate that pitchfork. I so I'm just going to make sure that there's no dirt in here that I need to clean out, clean up the trailer. I know I took this big bucket down. I have to put that up. All right, so I brought my saddle in. There's no room. No room for my saddle. What is that trying to tell me? So I'm going to leave it there until we come back because we're on a time crunch. And then I'm going to move stuff around. My saddle pad. Maybe it's trying to tell me that it's time for me to ride again. So uh, the whole situation behind this horse is a little bit awkward. So what you guys don't know is that this horse is actually a lease for Sophie. It's like a free lease. You're, you're freely leasing it. Sophie's gonna use this horse until she like knows what she wants to do. She wants to try Western Pleasure. She wants to try barrels. I don't know what this horse will do. Its horse has done Western. This horse is Western trained, Western bred. So we're gonna see. Well, I'm really excited to bring this horse here. Like I'm so excited for her, this whole new journey and like having a horse that she can ride that's her own. And people always say like, don't buy a horse unless you're, unless you, unless you're gonna keep it forever. And I love that. And I wanna like, so I don't really wanna buy a horse until she knows. You guys know this, I've been talking about this for so long. Like. We're not in a position to buy a horse right now because whatever she gets might not be good at what she wants to do. And I don't want to just get a horse 
and it'd be like so many other of our horses. Like we got Storm and he didn't want to jump. Then we got Chino and Chino is awesome at jumping. And I don't think he really wants to do it, but he wants to please Gabby. So like, unless you wait to buy a horse until you know exactly what you want and then try and find the horse that wants to do it. Like I've learned so much. In the past, we've bought horses that we thought would fit because we didn't know. But now I wanna get, when I buy Sophie a new horse, I want it to be like the exact right horse. I want it to be like something that she can compete on and grow on and learn on. And so we're not there yet, but she does need a horse because she wants to progress at the barn that she's at right now. And she's gonna need a horse. So this is our next best bet. We're leasing. She is free leasing this horse for as long as she needs. Hopefully, we don't even know if this horse is gonna work completely yet. Like it's just all up in the air. Anyway, we're, we're headed out, we're doing it. We're doing this, we got a horse, we found a horse, we know a horse and we're gonna bring it home and we're gonna integrate it into our herd. Please pray for us because I'm such a nervous person. I hate seeing our horses unhappy and the rain is, like you guys know, it's been raining for a week and I don't want our horses to, to get hurt like trying to vie for room we don't have any place to isolate this horse because it just doesn't work on this little farm there's no, we don't have a place specifically there are things i'm going to do to try and ease this horse in slowly and kind of have like a bit of a a way away from the herd before they get used to each other like you guys know i've done a lot of things by like putting the horses on the outside of the arena and putting the other horse on the inside of the arena which is probably what i'm going to do i don't know it's all a crapshoot. Let's go get Sophie's new horse. I'm gonna try and stop worrying now. Think positive. It's gonna work out. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go. I'm gonna wait to feed the horses lunch because <laughs> sometimes food is a good motivator for things to stay calm. Pray for us, you guys. Pray for us that we can get out of this mud. Do we have everything we need? Mm -hmm. Is Gabby here? No. Where's Gabby? Yeah, we don't need her. We don't need her. We always need Gabby. Gabby has riding lessons tonight, so we have to hurry and get back so that we have time to get everything settled and, and worked out and figured out and before we have to leave for Gabby's riding lessons. So let's go. Hi, handsome. Hi, you're coming home. You're coming home with us. I'm probably gonna cry, that's crazy. Oh, I feel like crying. I missed you so much. When we got to the door, he whinnied. That's all it took. <laughs> hey, calm it down. Dude. <laughs> I'm crying. Why? Because I missed him. And Gabby says, calm it down, dude. You better listen. So, Gabby, can you go get his stuff? Yeah, right uh, we need his girth. Send me off with the words of a lullaby. They're getting new friends. Some old though. Your brother's coming back. Your brother's coming back. Oh my gosh, just looking at his face. Like, I'm scared, but I, you guys know, I, Sam and I weren't ready for him to go. Yeah, you're the calm one. I already told them, you're, you're gonna come in like a bat out of hell. <laughs> He's missing a few hairs. He had a blanket on this year that had a neck. Oh, I know what you saw. What yeah, you I think I do. Okay, I'm going to grab them. So now that that show season has started, they're like oh. redoing everything. They're selling everything. Oh, wow, oh. I love what they did here. The cherries or the jelly? You're not having any. So they got the vending machine all hooked up again. Everybody's gonna be wanting to eat. They put the saddles like this. They put covers on the saddle. We're coming, we're coming. But also, 
They bought all new jumps and stuff. So all these jumps, poles, standards, gates, all of it's for sale. There's a wishing well back there. All of it's for sale. It's super cheap too. Where's the wishing well? In the very back. You remember me? He's smelling me. Anyways, he's so much better mannered than Chino. <laughs> They're getting a snack from the vending machine. And I'm taking this boy to the car because he was antsy in the stall. Those ears. You're going home, Storm. He's looking at me. You're going home, handsome. Say goodbye. Do you remember? I think he remembers. Like he's not fighting me to go to his field. I think he remembers. All right, if I walk him up into this trailer, it's gonna be amazing. You coming? Come on. Yeah, it's your family. You smelling everybody? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know I'm not the one that usually does it. Come on, handsome. the whole trailer and no treats Man. I wish I had a thought ahead not that he needs a treat to go on You were just waiting for your girl. Did you try to put him on? I did try and put him on, but I wasn't like really putting him on. I was just like seeing if he would just walk on easy with me. So he was waiting for you. Yeah. How am I getting out the store? <laughs> right, you guys. Strong, so Sylvia is leaf releasing Stormy Boy. We're gonna Don't see if he works. She's ridden him lots of times and she likes riding him and yeah. Anyway, he's coming home, and this, the weird thing is that almost all of you guys knew. Like, oh my god! <laughs> what the heck, man? What the heck, man? Oh my god! <laughs> Why is it staring now? Oh my god! Uh, you guys should remember. Here. Okay, shh. So the car, the truck won't start. It's like they're saying, leave him here. Leave him here. I always worry about what Just the luck. universe is trying to tell us. I hope he's trying to tell us that anything worth doing is worth struggling through. This oh, we, not the best he driver. replaced his battery recently because this happened to us like a few weeks ago in the drive-thru. Remember, we showed you guys on a video. We were in the drive-thru of a restaurant and our battery died. Wow. So he got a new one. Mm -hmm. Like right away the same day we went and got a new battery. So he's smart and has a battery thing to charge his own battery. You know what is weird though? When I look at Storm, I feel like butterflies in my stomach. He's our first horse. But it's more than that, it's him. He has this like presence, this, this presence about him. And I know like a lot of you guys feel it too because a lot of people tell me all the time that he's our favorite, that he's their favorite horse of ours. He's so different now. Gabby, he just, he's so much calmer. When we had him, we had him on a lot of grain, and now he's not on all that grain, and it makes me wonder if like all the bucking he used to do. It makes me wonder if all the shenanigans that Storm used to do were because he had so much energy from all the grain. We didn't give him like grain that was high in sugar or anything, but he had a lot of grain, and he's so different now. He's so much more calm, and so like, he's so much different than Chino, man. Chino is powerful. Why walk with Chino? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You have to tell Tino, like, don't be an idiot. Yeah. And but with Storm, Storm just like, eh, okay. Yeah, Storm just walks. Yeah, with you, with Gabby, Chino is perfect. 
with anybody else, he is not perfect. Just like my dog is perfect with me, but and with Sophie sometimes. <laughs> not when I bring her out by myself. Yeah, but not when. Yeah, weird. I feel bad for horses saying goodbye though. There's which horse is it over there at the at the gate? Sparky. Sparky. There's a horse over at the gate just standing there. It makes me wonder if he's like sad that Storm left. Although we haven't left yet because our truck won't start. That's so yeah. Wonderful. It was so sunny where we picked up Storm. I thought, oh my gosh, it's not gonna rain again. The rain is supposed to end today, but look, our house is over there. Yep, right underneath that big, huge, dark cloud. Are you excited? Yeah. I am too. Are you excited, Gabby? Yeah. You're home, he's looking at the field. You're home. Real Do you want Gabby to take them off? Yeah, you can take them off and pass them to me. You get real grass. He's like, yeah, I want to get out here. He's pawing. I don't know if you guys can see him. Boy. Oh my gosh, I have butterflies. Penny's watching, Willow's watching. Storm. <laughs> Storm said, you promised me grass. <laughs> That's Chino calling to him. Chino is calling him and Chino is she knows excited. Take his halter off? Yeah, take it off. We'll give him some food and some water. He's gonna stay in here. But look, oh, you should. <laughs> she knows. Guess the same song. <laughs> oh my goodness. She knows, like, oh my god. Calm your jets. Oh. You guys. He's like sending you. Chino knows. He'll calm down eventually. Does he have food and water? Yeah, he has food and water. It looks so big. He remembers. Look at him looking at them. Chino's like, yes. Give me a, give me a the door. <sighs> you bring Chino in? Yeah. Sort of like, why do you get a girl? So. Like, my nerves are like so high. Not nervous, but like. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in the middle of the. What are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I survived. We're He's gonna... like, I want the girls. Screw you, Gino. I want the girls. Gino's <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> let them, let them see know. each other. Let him see them. Let him. God, that's so mean. Don't push the door open. Let him see him. He can see him. <laughs> so that's why I'm talking about Chino is so powerful. Like, <laughs> that's why I get a chain. Oh, he's going to pee. He's like, I will pee in here. He's probably happy to have some place. He remembers shavings. He's like, oh, I can pee and it doesn't splash on my legs. Wow. He's eating. <laughs> he's like, oh my god. Okay, Gabby and Sophie, we gotta throw lunch. And he's like, oh my god, another boy. Another boy. <laughs> another boy. Our boy. She's like, my dreams come true. Oh, I missed him so much, you guys. He seems tall. He does seem tall. You think he seems good for you? We have a lot to do before we can figure out if Sophie can ride him. We have to make sure we have a saddle that fits or find a saddle that fits. So it'll be a little bit of time. A western saddle. That fits. A western saddle. Yeah, that's exciting. 
I'm excited. All right, he's got two fresh jugs of water. My job. <laughs> Gina was gonna see storm no matter what. And well, I, I tried to close the door. It didn't do work. you think he he remembers, or you think he's just trying to protect his herd? He remembers storm. He remembers. The chickens. So he ran to his stall. He did. I was standing what? in the way, and Gav, I thought you were dragging him. He was running. No, I was walking, and he was going. He was his going to his stall. Gina's the kind of guy who's like, I will kill you, and then but he stands behind. Do I feed him inside? Yeah. But he then he stands cool. behind somebody. But so he he I was standing in the hallway and Gabby brought him in and he practically ran by me. My hair was like woo in the breeze. But for any of you guys who don't remember, hopefully I don't cry. Yeah, thanks for that's another thing. Thanks for helping me. I was using my entire body. <laughs> He drank Gabby to and himself. He still move forward. Yeah, and then he gets behind the bars, and then he's like, "I will get him!" But he knows Gabby's gonna hide him behind Gabby. I was trying to. <laughs> we love you, Chino. I'm just teasing. We love you. We chickens. <laughs> we love chickens too on this farm. <laughs> Any of you guys who don't know, Storm is the star of the show. Storm is our lead horse. He's the horse that we first got. We bought him for Gabby for her 11th birthday and her birthday, his birthday, is 20 days before hers. They're 20 days apart in age. And it was a love affair between the two of them. Birthday. It was a love affair. If you want to see oh, it, go back in our videos and you'll be able to see. But long ago, we moved to another barn and we moved three of our geldings to this barn. It's a big, huge herd and a big, beautiful, field that they were in with woods and pastures and they could just go all over but when they moved there storm took it upon himself to protect our horses from the other horses not that the other horses were mean but he felt like he was their leader and our chino and finn thought that storm was their leader so chino knows that storm is his leader like he's always known he's i swear a lot of bad things started happening to Chino when Storm left. And the reason Storm left was because Gabby couldn't handle two horses at the same time. She could, but it was she wanted to focus on her show horse. And so our trainer asked her if he could lease Storm for beginners. And we knew, we figured it would be good for him to be busy and be doing stuff. And Gabby couldn't focus on him but now that Sophie can focus on him we brought him home and we're gonna see how it goes you guys we're gonna see how it goes but it'll be a little bit of time while we figure things out but look at that butt that is the butt that I miss another thing that you guys don't know is that so many times on this little farm it would be Sam and I grooming storm and loving on him and spending time with him and so we, and he was kind of like a family horse. He, he's so soft. You're so soft, handsome. And we all love him. Like we all love him. And I just feel so grateful to have him home. What? I am emotional. Like I didn't want Storm to go and neither did Sam. And I, when I told everybody that he was leaving, I cried through that whole thing too. Like, oh, my heart just feels so happy. I'm glad that he got to spend the last year doing, you know, what he liked. Teaching little kids to ride. He's a great beginner horse. And they've taken great care of him and he's in great shape. He's got lots of muscle. He's been working. He came back with a thicker tail. Did he come back with a thicker no, tail? could have. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's thicker. I opened the door to throw hay and he's like, I'm coming in. Penny was? No, honey. Honey? Honey went to her spot. It's like, feed me. So we don't, like I said before, we don't really have room to isolate this guy. Um, I know that they don't have any like serious diseases at their farm. See, he's chilled. Um, but... Don't stand behind horses, kids. But, at the same time, every farm has their own, like, stuff, like, bacteria floating around. And even though the horses at that farm might not be sick with them... He's so soft. Even though the horses at that barn might not be sick with, a, with a, like, a virus or with a bacteria, it can still be in their system and they can spread it to other horses. Which sucks. Like, even if our horse went someplace, like, 
we have our own bacteria that our horses are used to. So I want to isolate him, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Not for very long, and they're in the same barn. He knows watching, he's got his ears pinned. So I don't know if he wants to tell him like, I'm the boss of you now, or what's going on. But I'm excited, stay tuned for the next video. <laughs> Comment below, do you think, so I'm, I'm grooming him with the, I'm shedding him. Comment below, do you think that, do you think that Storm's gonna try and take back his place as lead? Or do you think that Chino will fight him for it? And do you think Penny will get involved at all? Or do you think she'll hide? <laughs> Anyway, that is it for today's video. Well, most of you guys were right. I wanted it to be a surprise though. I knew it would be an emotional day for us. Yeah, we'll have the farrier and we'll have our chiropractor come. Get them all fixed up. Look at him. We'll have them all fixed up. But it's going to be an interesting summer. Don't you know that you're beautiful?